to have a very close relationship with a client that is controlled. Uh, uh, we kind of, our process is defined with a client um, immediately uh, at the start of every job. Um, and so if we're going to talk about moving image work, for instance, we have a strict process of um, receiving a brief and then debriefing a client on what that brief actually is in written documentation. Honesty and openness, when no work has been done, when no one's invested anything, I think it's very important to be able to be truthful and to be able to question and comment and remark. Um, because if you can do that in that environment, it's a, a much safer kind of um, place to do it. And as opposed to doing it within the project where people are looking at the clock and they're concerned about um, their dollar and they're concerned about you know the outcome of the project and at the very beginning you know is the place where everyone is the most open-minded about a project. So I really like to attack it there and, and have a really thorough conversation and I try to elicit as much as possible from a client and give as much as I can back in that session um, and from that I often find when we, when we find the right client that, that there's a great uh, chemistry that occurs and we walk away from those meetings feeling very satisfied, both parties, that um, we have truly shown, from, my, from, from the designer's perspective, we've shown great interest in their business and the project at hand and we've cared about it enough to challenge um, you know, from the onset. Concepts for us are always developed analytically that begin with words and um, our, all of our instinctual thoughts about a project. We embark on research, we have a library of books and um, uh, the internet. We start to pull together bits and pieces of everything so that we're informed and hopefully that all goes into one big funnel and, and, and sort of uh, directions start to form, you know, signposts for where to take the project. We put all of that into a storyboard and that storyboard is developed um, to a degree that it is uh, picture perfect. So we like to put in front of the client at that point, that is pretty much the finished executed design uh, first up. Um, and what we find about that process is that what they see is what they get. So everyone involved in the project when they look at that storyboard knows what to expect. Now, if we've done our job really well in terms of that first stage of, of brief and debrief, by the time we're presenting that storyboard, there actually isn't um, uh, a need uh, so often to um, uh, redevelop anything. Often they're looking at it and going, that's exactly what we were talking about. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow, that's interesting the way you've developed that. This is a little definitely a great experience when you're working with someone for the first time and that relationship begins to develop and they begin to see what you can bring to their business. The challenge with um, ongoing clients is to make sure that they feel that you're continually upping your game for them because uh, you are a business partner in that sense, you know, to working with them to develop their business. And you really want to be able to always continually deliver something better than the last thing you've, you've done for them. Truly there are so many exciting parts of, of, of working as a designer. The moment the phone call rings and there's a new project is obviously a huge buzz because um, immediately the moment you're informed about something you start to think about the possibilities. Sitting down for the, for the first time and writing ideas in a book is a great moment. Also, I kind of thrive off the fear of the projects as well because I love, I love the kind of terrifying nature of a, an approaching deadline. I really embrace the idea of um, subconscious think time.
I don't believe that sitting in front of a computer for eight hours generates a result. I love being able to, um, when I'm in that uh, concept period of a project, you know, take a walk, or go to a cafe and get a cup of coffee, or have a game of ping pong, or play a video game. You know, I know I'm always thinking about a project. I know I'm always subconsciously working through my mind, trying to kind of uncover a previous thought, a connection, and, um, and that's a great space to be, and I'm very comfortable with that. I also love the adrenaline rush of, of, of committing to an idea and developing it. And I've never met a client that, that actually has greater expectations than I do. So um, that's, the, that's the joy of doing stuff for yourself. Thank you.